while spelunking in the soft limestone caves of Missouri. I happened across the terrible troglodyte, the grandiose golem, the heifer I hate, mediocre Scott Young. Apparently, she likes the cool acidic pools the caves have to offer. They help with dryness when she sheds her skin in the summer. I really couldn't believe I was seeing this lying lizard in the flesh and scales. Remembering what I learned in my Greek mythology class, I used some golden thread to make a lasso and caught the creature by its tail. With an angry, raspy growl, she shifted into human form, and now my thread is tied around her thumb. How did you know that this golden thread is the only magic that can control me? Because the golden sheep it came from didn't fuck with your ass either, heifer! According to the rules of Hefferdom, you must answer three questions for me. Now, Momo, tell me why you can't tell a good story, Monster Scott Young glumly replied. Because that's the only kind I know how to tell. When the bottom fell out of the music industry, I hadn't saved much, but I had invested in a Kennedy's fried chicken in Yonkers. I used free food and my connections with out-of-work cameramen and security to turn love and hip-hop into what it is today. Okay, my next question, is this baby Kirk or did you rent it for a plot line? Boy, if you don't watch the show, I'll revert to my Komodo dragon form and eat you. Okay, okay, Mona, all right, all right. Last question. When you laid the egg to hatch Yandy Smith, did it hurt? At this point in the interview, Monster Scott Young actually did turn back into a Komodo dragon and try to eat me. Fortunately, Mr. Deb Atney was on security detail for me and subdued the beast before I was devoured. This is a sample of what you'll be getting on the Rogers Report. So I'm going to see you soon for something. So tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate.